one of the things we're trying to focus on in Cardano is, is abstracting the tool sets and capabilities of the protocol so that each dApp that comes can reuse that. They don't have to be a domain expert. Yeah, that's what got me to fall in love with Cardano in the first place. Like this is actually a reasonable software architecture, right? I mean, you're using right. functional programming, you're breaking things down into pieces. So like if, if I want to take some AI algorithm and you know, make it do homomorphic encryption or multi-party computing. So it's, you know, runs in a secure and, and scalable way. Like I don't need to write all that code myself. There's actually tools within the blockchain infrastructure that are useful as code. Ethereum code base is not like that. There's nothing in there you're going to reference or use within your secure AI layer. The computation model is just wrong. It's yeah. got global state. You can't grow beyond a certain amount. It's supposed to be a world computer, but... You cannot build a functional world computer that way. No. We just had a lecture this morning with Memo Shakavardi talking about the differences with the extended UTXO model to the Ethereum style accounts model. And it just becomes so obviously self evident that first, it can't scale. And second, the use of other utilities comes at the same resources for everything. 100 US dollars in gas for a Uniswap transaction. I know. How can you obsolete uh, Wall Street that way? The foundational algorithms to get around those problems are there in Cardano. And then in SingularityNet, we have foundational algorithms for distributing and decentralizing you know, secure AI. Ingredients are there for what needs to be done. This year is going to be pivotal. We've got native assets coming out and we'll be putting AGI token as a native asset and then a few other SingularityNet spinoffs as native assets. I mean, we're going to get flourishing native asset ecosystem on Cardano and then Singularity DAO, which is a DeFi system we're building on Singularity Net. I mean, we can use to help coordinate getting liquidity into all these Cardano native assets. And then just Plutus as a whole, I'm, I'm super psyched about that coming out publicly because not many people are thinking about what you can do when you have like a, a real programming language as a smart contract framework, right. which is sort of security by design built in. So, I mean, I think we're really providing stuff is prepared to explode in an incredible way in 2021.